If we got a uh, tractor specified to have the uh, have the 3L joystick, is we end up with uh, with this joystick here. So on this one then is we have our uh, our main uh, joystick, um, which I can move forwards, backwards, or side to side. And then I have a, a thumb mounted joystick, which again I've got the same uh, same movements on there. And also on the side of it then is I have this uh, this what we call as a white uh, freely assignable button. Um, so factory preset then is this is doing a, a direction change. Quite simply, if I'm going forward, as soon as I press that, I'll go backwards and uh, and vice versa. On the on the joystick then we can see we've got these uh, these LED lights here, and these ones then will relate to uh, to the top mounted joystick. And these ones down the uh, down the side here on the on the bottom then will uh, will relate to the uh, to the main joystick. Now the reason why it's called a uh, called a 3L joystick is uh, in the back is we've got a a trigger um, at the at the back of the joystick and that then cycles it between the uh, between the three different layers uh, on there. But then whilst I'm activating the joystick, if I need to activate uh, one of the other uh, two layers on there is I need to be holding then that trigger in the in the right direction and then while still holding it activate either the main joystick or the uh, the thumb control joystick at the same time so uh, within there now the way then I can uh, I can alter the uh, the layers on this joystick is if I come then into my uh, into my uh, armrest assignment page so we can activate it uh, off the off the screen then if I then unlock and then from in here is I can scroll across to my uh, to my my 3L joysticks so at the moment it's only showing uh, showing one layer in there but then if I come into the uh, come into the settings I can then activate and make it a uh, a 3 make it a 3L joystick and now we can see then our uh, our two other layers so the middle layer then is always that, uh, that trigger will always spring back to the middle position so this will be our most favoured layer and then we can see is if I hold the, uh, hold the trigger down is now we can see the uh, uh, this layer here is activated it's gone green down there and if I hold this one up then is, uh, it goes green for, uh, for there and I can choose then my uh, my function so it might be then that I want to put a linkage function uh, on uh, on there and so as long as I get a, a green box then as I could put uh, put that function on there so now is I've got my uh, on the on the down pushing the uh, the trigger in the upwards position is I've got my rear linkage up and down on the uh, on the thumb control joystick in uh, in this example if I had an isobus implement on the on the back, then is I'd see uh, the isobus uh, implement symbol uh, sitting down here, and again is I could then put uh, any of the uh, isobus implement uh, controls up onto this uh, up onto this joystick. So in total, when I've got the uh, got the three L uh, uh, joystick active uh, with all three layers, then is I've got uh, twenty seven functions that I could uh, assign to uh, to that joystick.